Hello everybody and welcome back to Above It All. I got a quick video here about Autonomous Zone updates. So there was an attempt last night in both Nashville, Tennessee and Asheville, North Carolina to create Autonomous Zones. And I have an update for Asheville. As you can see here, the cops were immediately called and basically they threatened everybody and tore everything down instantly. Now, one thing that is super important to understand, an autonomous zone in the South is a lot less feasible than in a more liberal state. Liberals, they do this nice fancy virtue signaling and that's very easy to take advantage of. Look at Seattle. I think if there is to be an autonomous zone in the South, I think it should be not in a city. I think it should be in a rural town, on a farm potentially. But either way, again, I'm showing this video because this is cool. Like all throughout the country, people are gathering to create these autonomous zones. And the thing is, they don't have to work. Like that's the thing is that's the beauty of it. You can try and failing is okay because when you fail, you learn. And when you learn, you can try again. And so who knows if there's going to be more action in Asheville tonight. I believe Asheville was also the location where cops, potentially the cops very same in this video, because of course nothing happens to these cops, shot up a, a queer bar. I think that was in Asheville, North Carolina, where they shot up a queer bar with a shotgun. I'm sure, you know, he's in this in this video somewhere. The guy that said, this isn't a game, or the game is over, or whatever, and just unloaded at a fucking queer bar. Southern police are a lot more racist and they're a lot more emboldened um, than liberal state police. And this is one of those things where, again, it's going to be hard. It's going to take a lot of time and effort. But my particular opinion is if we are in, a, in the South, you know, even if you are living in a major city and your organization is in a major city, carpool somewhere, like right outside on the border, Create an autonomous zone somewhere on the border outside of Asheville where you've got farmland. Create an autonomous zone like somewhere where cops can't be called immediately to come take you down. One of the reasons why the autonomous zone in Seattle went so well was that the cops ran away. They abandoned the precinct. They ran from it. And that gave people the opportunity to reinforce things to the point where they are now in Seattle. And that's definitely going to be something to learn from. But this is great. And I'm loving to see this. And there's going to be more of these happening. Because the people are fed up. They don't like the police shooting at them. They're tired of the police threatening to kill them. Our time has come. We are going to dismantle the police one way or another. Whether it be through fucking voting. Right? Like, or through direct action. Police are going to go. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be next week. It might not even be next year. But police, they've got another thing coming. They can't last forever. These fuckers are going to go down one way or another. And yeah, it starts like this. People got pallets. You got garbage cans. You know? But you learn from mistakes. You learn. You pick up and you move on. And you try again. And maybe the second time won't work. Maybe the third time won't work, but eventually, eventually something's going to happen. And this is great. If you have any news or updates, and, you know, this is happening everywhere. Not only are there protests, now people are trying to build autonomous zones everywhere. If you've got any updates, you know, let me know. Like, please let me know. Um, This is relatively close to me. Uh, but, you know, obviously, I'm on the east coast of North Carolina. Asheville is more on the, the west side of uh of uh North Carolina so it is like 6 hours but um but it's just you know again the south has a lot of unique opportunities and i don't think building it in the middle of a city is the greatest idea um but also i don't live in Asheville i don't know the people there i don't know the relationships with the police i assume that it's terrible given all the content that i've seen over the last few uh weeks and so you know, I'm not going to criticize it. I'm just saying what I would do. What I would do is I would want to build an autonomous zone where 
you've got at least some sort of property that's, you know, maybe it's not yours, maybe, maybe the property owner's on board with it. And you use that property, preferably something with at least some sort of land. It doesn't need to necessarily, necessarily be farmland. You can make a garden in like someone's front porch or front lawn, I mean. You know, like start from there because the South has a lot more open space. It has a lot more room than the uh, Northwest and uh, the Northeast. And that should be taken advantage of, I think. Um, but also, again, there's a lot of room for that. And everything should be happening in unison. People should be agitating everywhere. In your hometown, if you've got like a, a posse or a squad, you know, that you all believe in each other and you all like know each other and you can be safe with each other and stuff, go out, see what you can do. You know, because this is this is how it begins. This is agitation. The cops need to know that nobody likes them. Not just the majority doesn't like them. They need to know that nobody likes them. If you ever see a cop, give them a mean look. Stare them down. Make them know that you're watching them. Bring out your cell phone. Start filming them. Because they are not humans. They are robots designed and programmed by the United States government to inflict maximum damage on human life and to prevent damage to rich people's property. And that's why these police are behaving in this way. And obviously each community has a different relationship with their police department. Obviously I don't know Asheville's entire story. Obviously I don't live there. I've never been there, but I'm just, you know, just covering this. Cause this is not something that this just happened last night. I think there's going to be a second attempt. I'm seeing that. I do not know what happened in Nashville. I'm still looking for info on that. If you know anything about an autonomous zone or just a protest in your area, whatever, please forward that to me. Send it to my email. You know, try to leave a YouTube comment. I'll try to respond. The boomers have been not spamming me as much, so I can respond to more comments now. So just, you know, send me updates because that's what I'm here for. I'm interactive, you know? I can't do this alone. I could. Well, actually, I could, yeah? But I don't want to. I'd rather outsource some things. But anyway... This is another autonomous zone attempt in Asheville. The first one didn't work. Will there be a second one? Let's see tonight. I'll, I'll probably tell you tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'll see you. If you want to watch any other videos, boom. The end screen should be popping up. Go click on one of those. I am now going to be silent for the rest of this video so that you know you can click one of those videos and you're not going to miss any content. So 